is a demonstration of a couple of things. A night T60 transmitter, which comes, which was a night kit back in the day, back probably in the late 50s and early 60s. A Heathkit VFO, which has been modified. So the uh, tuning is actually a uh, very vernier, very nice. I really like it. Whoever did that did a, a really nice job. And a separate power supply. And one of the advantages of a separate power supply is you tend to have a very stable uh, signal. Because when you used to get your voltage from a DX40 or a DX60 or a DX35 or a DX20, it used to chirp like bok, 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 bok. But this keeps it very stable. So you can use this VFO with just about any rig you can think of. <coughs> so right now we're set up uh, for 75 meters. Or 80 meters. And as you can see. Uh, we have a dummy load as a light bulb back there. And uh, that's what it's set up for. Uh, there is no uh, current meter per se, it's just a relative power output meter. So I'm going to put it in the CW position. And as you can see, the power comes out. We're going to peak it for uh, po peak power, which isn't a whole lot. And there we are. Let's adjust the drive. Okay. And we'll adjust that a little bit. And as you can see, that's our power situation. So put it back in the CW position and you can see the power output generally on the light bulb back there. Okay now we're going to test it on, a on AM and you can hear quite a bit of feedback. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hello test. And there's our feedback so we do know it works on AM. Okay, now we're looking at 40 meters. We are testing up on uh, 40 meters. And as you can see, there we go. We're testing, peaking that up. Okay, and the drive, we adjust the drive. There we go. Okay, here we are on 20 meters. We can see that the VFO certainly works there. We have this uh, set for, let's see, 80, 40, 20. We have that set for 20 meters. Let's see if we have any output on 20 meters. Okay, we got a little bit there. Let's set the, there we go. We got a little bit there. Let's uh, peek up the drive. Okay, and we adjust the loading and there we are. So we got the, uh, we got some output. The meter shows 40 watts out. I don't know how accurate the meter is. I would tend to go more by the bulb. Okay, here we are on 15 meters. About 20, it looks like a little, about 21,370. And if you look at the meter here, it looks like 21,370. It's pretty close. Okay, we're on 15 meters. Not a lot of output. The 3 to 1 SWR looks like about 20 watts. Uh, but I put a crystal in and uh, to get a multiplication and so we're about 21,450 a little bit out of the band but uh, there we are uh, some output about 40 20 about 20 watts maybe 30 if I crank it there and there is 10 meters it says about 30 watts but I don't see the bulb lighting up I don't know what the SWR is that's uh, the crystal frequency, 71.52 multiplied times 4. So it does put out, but uh, not a lot on 10 meters.